Throughout the world, major construction and engineering projects are transforming the fabric of society. These large construction projects range from highways, canals, airports, subways, bridges, modern cities, and stadiums. In this video, we will explore some of these projects. Neom. It is a futuristic megacity which will cost over 500 billion and stretch over 26,000 square kilometers. It will be located in the northern part of Saudi Arabia, near the borders of Jordan and Egypt. This project, which recently got the green light, is projected to be a center of innovation, sustainability, and technological advancement. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman spearheaded the idea of the project when he introduced his Saudi Vision 2030 initiative. The main part of NEOM is the The Line, which epitomizes the fusion of futuristic innovation with sustainability. Leading the way in the world's largest construction projects list, the creative vision behind this project really is something. Current plans show that the city will be powered entirely by renewable energy, setting a new benchmark for sustainable urban life. The city's design includes cutting-edge health and sport facilities, sports venues and science attractions, integrated within residential and commercial hubs, advanced transportation networks, including high-speed rail lines, which are planned to minimize environmental impact. There are several industries which will thrive within the city. These include biotechnology, renewable energy, tourism, and advanced manufacturing. The city is envisioned to operate on renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power, making it one of the most environmentally friendly cities in the world. For example, the Neom Green Hydrogen Solar PV Park is a 2,000 megawatt solar PV power project slated to be ready for commercial operation by 2026. Neom's development plan includes the creation of high-tech infrastructure with advanced transportation systems like autonomous vehicles and a network of Hyperloop trains. The city will also feature cutting-edge amenities such as artificial intelligence-driven services, vertical farms, and underwater restaurants. Furthermore, Neom is designed to be a global investment destination, attracting businesses, startups, and talent from around the world. Neom's ability to attract top talent will depend on its ability to offer competitive salaries and benefits packages, a supportive work environment, and opportunities for career growth and development. The project aims to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy away from oil dependence and stimulate growth in various sectors. Despite its many purported benefits, Neom has faced criticism and controversy, especially regarding its impact on the environment and displacement of local communities. Critics have raised concerns about the potential disruption to the area's delicate ecosystems and the displacement of Bedouin tribes living in the region. Because the line will stretch for hundreds of kilometers across the desert from the Red Sea, it may create a potentially deadly barrier for migrating birds. Despite these challenges, Naom remains a symbol of Saudi Arabia's ambitious vision for the future. With its focus on innovation, sustainability, and economic diversification, the project has the potential to reshape the global urban landscape and set new standards for smart cities. The Gulf Railway. The Gulf Railway is a major engineering project formed by the six member states of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the Kingdom of Bahrain, the state of Kuwait, the Sultanate of Oman, the State of Qatar, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. With a total length of 2,100 kilometers, the Gulf project was originally launched in 2009. However, the colossal $250 billion scheme was put on hold due to low oil prices and political rifts between member states. The project's first phase will connect Saudi Arabia and Oman and connect United Arab Emirates, will complete phase two, which will connect up Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Bahrain is also set to complete by 2025. The railway will be used to ship goods first. At a later date, it will open for passenger trains. The Gulf Railway is expected to contribute to the economic development of all Gulf countries and accelerate the implementation of their joint economic projects, such as the Customs Union, the Common Market, and Monetary Union. It will also enhance trade movement between neighboring countries and contribute to providing job opportunities for their citizens, in addition to building the institutional capabilities and skills required to develop the sustainability of railways. The initial investment cost of the railway project, whose agreement was concluded in 2004, 
is approximately $15 billion, but is subject to increase. The project is to connect the GCC countries with an integrated railway network extending from the state of Kuwait to the Sultanate of Oman, with a total length of 2,177 kilometers, provided that it route begins from Kuwait, passing through Dammam in Saudi Arabia, to the Bahraini capital, Manama. The project expenses cover the construction, upkeep, and enhancement of connecting and primary roads within GCC nations, alongside expenses for formulating and enforcing unified specifications, regulations, and systems. Additionally, it involves establishing a transportation sector database and other expenses tied to transport services and safety. Nevertheless, the Cooperation Council has opted to delegate approval and regulation authority to each country independently. Moreover, implementation will align with the individual readiness and capacities of each Gulf nation to enact the system. Jeddah Tower construction on the world's tallest building has officially resumed in Saudi Arabia. It is set to become taller than UAE's Burj Khalifa's height of 828 meters. The Jeddah Tower will be over 1,000 meters tall and span 1.5 square kilometers. The Jeddah Tower was designed by Adrian Smith, who also designed the Burj Khalifa. The project has faced many delays, including a pause in 2018. Furthermore, the initial contractor was replaced during the Saudi Arabian purge. This project is described as the centerpiece of the Jeddah Economic City Development, an ambitious project intended to revive Jeddah's urban core. The designers of the building envisioned a slender form conceptually inspired by the fronds of a native flower emerging from the arid desert sand. The mixed-use tower is designed to house a hotel, residential apartments, office spaces, luxury condominiums, and the world's highest observatory with a stunning view of the nearby Red Sea. The project is estimated to have a total cost of $20 billion, with around $1.2 billion designated specifically for the construction of the tower. Additionally, the tower's elevator system is expected to be one of the most sophisticated worldwide, traveling at speeds of 10 meters per second. Madison Square Garden Sphere The MSG Sphere, developed by Madison Square Garden Entertainment Corp., is an inventive entertainment venue that aims to transform the live entertainment landscape. Valued at more than $1.6 billion, the MSG Sphere in Las Vegas, Nevada, is poised to become a remarkable architectural feat towering at around 366 feet. With a diameter of approximately 516 feet, the spherical sphere is among the largest spherical constructions globally. Internally, it will host up to 17,500 guests catering to a diverse array of events such as concerts, live performances, corporate presentations, and sporting spectacles. A major feature of the MSG sphere is its immersive audio system which comprises of more than 1,000 speakers and a sophisticated acoustics arrangement, ensuring pristine sound quality throughout the venue. Furthermore, the facility will showcase state-of-the-art spatial sound technology, enabling precise control and manipulation of audio to craft an unparalleled immersive auditory journey. The exterior LED display will showcase stunning visuals, advertisements, and interactive content, providing a dynamic and eye-catching presence on the Las Vegas Strip. The MSG Sphere in Las Vegas is expected to create thousands of jobs and contribute significantly to the local economy. Upon completion, the venue is projected to attract millions of visitors annually, further cementing Las Vegas' reputation as a global entertainment destination. MSG Sphere merges state-of-the-art technology, architectural ingenuity, and unmatched audiovisual sensations to craft an indelible venue that captivates audiences worldwide. South North Water Transfer. Project Northern China has long been a center of population, industry, and agriculture. However, the per capita share of the region's limited water resources has been falling. In recent history, there has been an overexploitation of groundwater and eventually severe water shortages in rural areas. To solve this problem, the government has embarked on the South to North Water Diversion Project, the largest of its kind in China. The project involves drawing water from southern rivers and supplying it to the dry north. The South to North Water Project, which will redirect 44.8 billion cubic meters of water annually, originated from an idea proposed by the late chairman Mao Zedong in 1952. 
His vision aimed to alleviate the escalating water scarcity in Beijing, Tianjin, and the northern provinces of Hebei, Hanan, and Shandong. Fifty years later, on August 23, 2002, following extensive research, planning, and deliberation, the project received approval from the State Council. Construction commenced on the Eastern Route in December of the same year, followed by the initiation of the Central Route construction a year later. To oversee the construction, operation, and maintenance of the primary project, a specialized limited liability company was established. Additionally, each province was mandated to establish a water supply company to manage local administration and infrastructure aspects. The complete project is expected to cost $62 billion, more than twice as much as the country's controversial Three Gorges Dam. The eastern route was expected to supply Shandong province and the northern part of Jiangsu during 2007, a year ahead of the original schedule, linking Shandong with the Yangtze River and bringing water north to the Huanghuai High Plain via the Beijing Hangzhou Grand Canal, but was delayed. Diverted from a major branch of Yangtze River near Yangzhou City, the water will travel along existing river channels to the Waishan Mountains of Shandong before crossing the Yellow River via a tunnel and flowing to Tianjin. The finished diversion will be slightly over 1,100 kilometers long and involves the construction of 23 pumping stations with the installed capacity of 450 megawatts in the first stage alone to complement the seven existing ones, which will themselves be rehabilitated and upgraded. This part of the project will also include nearly nine kilometers of tunnels, from the outlet of Dongping Lake to the inlet of the Weilin Canal, including a 634 meters long siphon section, together with two 9.3 meters diameter, horizontal tunnels 70 meters under the Huanghe Riverbed. Several key projects of the eastern route have been completed. However, the work on the route was delayed due to farm and industrial pollution that endangers the quality of water. This project also diverts water from the Han River's Danjiangku Reservoir via new canals, providing water to Hainan, Hebei, and Beijing. Tianjin will also access water from this route. Upon completion in 2050, it will transport 4 billion cubic meters of water from the Tongxian, Yalong, and Dadu rivers across the Bayankala Mountains to northwest China. Officials urged swift preparatory measures at a 2006 Beijing Symposium to accelerate this vital project anticipating a need for 4.5 billion additional cubic meters of water by 2030 to sustain regional growth. South to North Water Diversion Project Funding. The estimated construction expenses for the eastern and central routes amount to 254 billion yuan with China allocating 53 billion yuan for the South to North Water Diversion Project. This budget comprises funds from the central government, treasury bonds, local governments, and loans. However, project costs have fluctuated due to changes in commodity prices, national policies, and investment structures. Approximately 30.4 billion yuan has already been expended, primarily on the construction of the eastern and central routes. Water diversion project environmental concerns, like China's other mega-project, the Three Gorges Dam, the diversion scheme has provoked many environmental concerns, principally regarding the loss of antiquities, the displacement of people and the destruction of pasture land. China's water diversion initiative has sparked significant environmental apprehensions, compounded by industrial expansion along project routes, risking water pollution. To mitigate this, the government allocated $80 million for treatment facilities in Jiangsu province, although costs exceed this. Grand Paris Express, this might be the most ambitious sustainable mobility project in Europe. The Grand Paris Express is a visionary project harnessing sustainable mobility to improve the quality of life within the city. The Grand Paris Express, a massive 200-kilometer-long group of subway lines that will connect almost all the suburbs in the Isle de France in a few years to the city center, curtail the problem of a sprawling urban conglomerate. It offers to reshape the landscape of one of Europe's major urban centers. The Grand Paris Express emerges as the backbone of the Greater Paris Metropolis, providing a sustainable solution to the increasing demand for transportation. This project represents the organic progression from the original Paris Metro, inaugurated in 1900, to the subsequent RER system connecting the city center with its outskirts. It aligns with Paris's ambitious objective of achieving carbon neutrality by 2050 through reliance on renewable energy sources. 
Projected to accommodate a minimum of 2 million passengers, daily by 2030, the system aims to transition the entire Isle de France region from car dependence to eco-friendly public transit. While the environmental impact of such massive construction is undeniable, once operational, the project is anticipated to significantly reduce carbon emissions, making it a potent tool for conservation. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.